Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for tuning into this video. I'm very happy you decided to watch this. I hope you stay tuned to the end. <laughs> um, today we're going to be talking about a rum, probably my favorite rum. Actually, yeah, we are, well, probably my favorite rum and probably my favorite spirit on the market right now. And I've been looking for some crazy, crazy stuff. I love scotches, but this is definitely way up there, even above the scotches. Um, this is uh, a Dos Maderas. 5 plus 5 uh, by the w William and Humboldt family way back in, uh, in, in Spain they're based. And uh, they like to refer to this as a three-aged rum. Basically what they do is they take uh, uh, the fine, silky, smooth uh, rums from Barbados which have been aged there for five years in the, you know, the Caribbean heat which really speeds up the aging process. Uh, then they also take uh, rums from uh, Ganeya which are more full-bodied, more fruity, and uh, they, those are aged also for five years. And they take those two rums and they ship them all the way to Jerez uh, to Spain. Then they transfer them uh, to the to, uh, American oak barrels, which uh, held previously uh, Paolo Cortado sherry. Now that's a very rare sherry. It's quite a, it's a, it's a bit of a hybrid sherry, and uh, it's quite hard to achieve uh, the, that particular sherry, it's quite hard to develop it because uh, of uh, the processes uh, that needs to happen with the floor and all that. So it's uh, quite quite a nice sherry there, it's uh, quite dry, not too sweet. Uh, but they then transfer these basically these two rounds from Barbados and from uh, Ghanaia into those barrels, into the Palo Cordado barrels for three years. And then for two more years, after all, all of that aging, they let that rum age for two more years in Pedro Jimenez barrels. So altogether it's been aged for 10 years this rum. And it's a fabulous blend and mix of aging processes, you know, I, I really love it, it's fabulous. Uh, and just the complexity that you're gonna get from all these different aging processes is, is fabulous and it actually transferred very well uh, into the rum itself. I mean, if you look at it, it's a 10 year old rum, it's a nice color, you know, there's nice mahogany color. There we go, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. I love how it just, just stays there on the glass. You can just see it there, it's nice and thick, you know. There's a bit of sugar in it because obviously Pedro Jimenez is a very, very sweet sherry. Uh, if you ever taste it, it's like drinking raisins almost. <laughs> So uh, definitely that a lot of that sugar has transferred over to the rum. And uh, let's, let's smell it. Again, definitely very fruity, very nice smell. You know, you, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not something that pierces your nose with alcohol. It's a very welcoming smell. It's almost like, yeah, come and drink me, come and enjoy me, sip me. Definitely like leather and tiny bit of oak. Mmm, yeah, yeah, it's, it is leathery. I mean, I'm getting a, a lot of that leather smell there. And it's just this nice, pleasant smell. Mm. Again, just so smooth, so silky, it's amazing. Nice and sweet, I'm getting uh, hazelnuts. Um, I'm getting definitely raisins, like a bit of honey and figs. Again, that's probably a lot of that from the last aging and then a the pet of Jimenez casks. And it's just uh, glorious because if you, if you, if you, if you drink pet of Jimenez, you know, it's really sweet. You have to really have a big sweet tooth to enjoy it. Um, so here the pet of Jimenez is just like lingering at the back, you know, really supporting everything else and just making it very pleasant. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. I wouldn't recommend putting any ice in there or anything. It's a 40% rum. Uh, 28 pounds, some places you can find 25, so it fluctuates between there. Absolutely fabulous. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, um, here it says it won a gold in 2013. Miami Rum Festival, you know, it got gold there. Uh, and, you know, honestly, I think this is the best rum you can get out there. It's, it's absolutely fabulous. And again, for the price, because if you think about it, a lot of these rums, 
diplomatical that age their rums in Pedro Jimenez casks. Um, if you take something like a Zacapa that ages the rums in Pedro Jimenez casks, they cost such a huge amount, hundreds of pounds, or well, not hundreds, but like a hundred pounds. This is like 28 pounds, 10 years in Pedro Jimenez casks. Um, Paulo Cardado casks, you know, that's... And these guys can do it for such a good price because obviously this company makes a lot of these sherry, so they have these casks just lying around um, doing nothing, so, you know, and these sherries, Pedro Jimenez and Paulo Cardado, they spent 20 years in the casks, in the Celera system. So these casks got a lot of that flavor, that magnificent sherry flavors passed inside to the casks, and uh, now uh, the cast, you know, gave it all to this gorgeous, silky smooth rum. I mean, please do try it. I mean, if you like spirits, uh, I, I, you will love this. You know, if you like your sherries, you know, this is it for you. I mean, I would actually say if you're new to rum, start off with this because this is so easy to drink. Hmm. Mm. Just so smooth and sweet, oh, beautifully sweet, and delicately sweet, you know, not over the top syrupy sweet, just delicate, gorgeous, elegant sweetness right there all over the palate. Oh, those fine raisins, mmm, oh, wow, oh, just a tiny hint of hazelnut, and uh, again, the only thing I can say that I would like to see more is that I, I want to see this available in more restaurants and bars. I've never seen this anywhere and I've been to places that specialize in rum. You go, they have complete libraries of rum and they don't have this. So you know, I definitely want to see more people talking about this and drinking and trying it. Uh, but let me know if you ever do get a chance. Uh, I hope you do get a chance and uh, I highly, highly recommend it. You know what, if you don't like it, contact me and I'm going to buy it off of you. Because this is some seriously good stuff. Well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep on enjoying this and uh, let me know in the comments if you ever tried it or if you're gonna give it a go. Please do. Cheers. Mm -hmm.